Good morning. I am Cecil and Blues. Thank you for joining me for this Wildstar Guide. Today we are collecting the journal entries for the Dominion Zone, Elevar. There are 21 journals in this zone. This guide will cover their locations, but not their contents. We're going to start in Light's Reach Mission. And our first stop is Horatio's Manor, where we are picking up the cocktail list. Our next stop in Light Reach Mission is Torix Command Post. Inside the Command Post, we will find Interview with the Radiant Star. Next, if we stop at the bar, the Emperor's Blessing, we will find a journal entry, Song Selections, Patriotic carrot, the Category. And our final journey, that is journal entry that is located in Light's Reach Mission, is inside the church, at the back of the room by the altar, and is labeled Commentary on the Vigilant Virtues. Then you'll want to head to the Glitterfur Caravan, and we are looking for a journal entry labeled Shinies of Elevar. If we head to the north through the cave, and we arrive in Glint Rock Dale, we're going to find a journal entry that is labeled Tracking the Hybrid, and it is behind the spawn point of a world boss. I'm going to run this footage here a little bit long. As you can see, if the world boss is up, he'll hit you, stopping you from picking up the journal. But the world boss has several telegraphs in his attack rotation, so you can kite him away, and when he stops to do a telegraph, you should be able to dash into the cave and grab it. If you have a second person with you, they can easily distract him for you, uh, or if someone has recently killed him, it won't be a problem. But... While the uh, mob does lots of damage if you were trying to fight him, eh, it gets not so bad if you take a couple hits. Next, we'll want to head to the Storm Seeker Commune. There is a shrine in the southern area of that uh, part of the map, and we are looking for the Words of the Masters. Next, uh, pretty close by in the Laureline Lowlands, next to a Ravenock nest, you will find a journal entry labeled Adopt a Ravenock Application Form. Further along in the quest line in the zone, you will be sent north of Lightreach Mission, and the first place you will encounter is the Vigilant Heart Outpost, and you can pick up the entry So You're Going to Die on Nexus. Then you will probably wind up at Misty Merc Camp, where you will find the journal entry Cargo Lifter Operation Manual sitting on the cargo lifter. You will also find in Misty Merc Camp, about the center of camp, a journal entry labeled Nerissa's Diary, Volume 35. A third journal entry can also be located at Misty Merc Camp. It is near the Radar Dish, and it is labeled Ravenock Racer Illustrated 119. Heading south, you will eventually come upon the Excavation Site Alpha uh, Camp. There are two journal entries here. To your left, you have Lost Science of the Elden, and to your right, you have Relics of the Gods. Southwest of here, you will find the Biomech Facility 498, and where I am indicating on the map, you should be able to find the Curious Canamid. Next, deep inside 
Uh, the Elden Lab, which does require completion of the quest series, you will find a prototype recombination wing and the journal entry to seek the gods. Uh, you will find an entry in the forest. This particular area on the map, for some reason, doesn't have a subzone listed with it. Uh, it's just listed as the zone name. It is east of Misty Mark Camp. It's very near to uh, a quest spawn point uh, it's near the hollow projector used for the quest of baiting the giant and we are picking up the journal entry tracking the moon beasts we can make a brief stop here to pick up a museum item the storm seeker tech tome which you will find in the middle of the dark spine well wilds done. after all i can't be expected to solve all this planet's mysteries from there, you can head to Professor Cornelius's camp in the center of the Darkspine Wilds, along the river there. And we are picking up a journal entry from there labeled Fauna of Nexus, volume number four. Then into the Grim Watch outpost on the east side of this area. On a table, you will find tomorrow's listings. To the north, in Copperworth Village, inside the general store, you will find a journal entry, BUGS! BUGS EVERYWHERE! And when you enter the store, bugs will spawn, so... I guess the person who wrote the journal wrote it very quickly before dying? Double kill. Triple kill. We'll want to then head east to the Sterling Reach amongst some of the technology for the Ithacan you will find Ithacan Analysis Elden Augmentation and that is our last journal entry but we also have at the far south of the lake a secret stash that is hidden underwater behind a rock in Lake Sterling The current here is a little bit rough, so you may have trouble, you may you know, get swept away, especially if you're tiny little chua. But that concludes this guide. I thank you for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. If you are looking for more Wildstar content, you can subscribe to the channel and you will be notified of new videos when they are uploaded. You can also follow me on Twitter, at It's Boats, where I announce my videos and occasionally forget that I'm on the internet and express an opinion. Until next time, have a great day.